What's up guys, go back to a brand new video man. Today we got some new gameplay with um Thunder Rosa and AW Fiverr and Sheeta. So we gotta get this video started. Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Um this is new AEW gameplay. Now AW Fiverr is scheduled to release on June 29th, okay? For everybody, it's gonna be on PS5, PS4, Xbox One, PC, Nintendo Switch as well. Um you can go pre-order it at GameStop if you guys want to. But um, here's AEW Fight Forever's full gameplay. We gotta talk over it because I didn't record no sound for this one. But um, here's she the entrance. Now the entrances I have something to point out here. It's only like two seconds of the entrances, like a short entrance. Um, I don't know why they have that, but I guess they do. Now we have Thunder Rosa. Thunder Rosa is the AEW Women's Champion. Um, she looks very very good in this game. From her face paint to all that stuff looks very very good. Here's the gameplay though. This game what you guys want to see. Um, and you guys see the moves look similar to WDK23. The fact that some of the moves, the, their moves in the game is not motion captured. Oh, um, one thing to point out, they was playing in the hotel, so if you see any lag or something, that's because of the Wi-Fi and stuff like that. But yeah, you see Thunder Rosa with the punches here. It throws it to the ropes. I like the physics of the game too, because it's like arcade style feel. It's um, you can do intergender matches in, in AW5 Forever as well. Um, as you guys can see, you want the uh, intergender matches be good for AW because in WSK23 you can do it, but it's gonna be like a mod, so it's like cool to have it in the game. Now, you see the punches, the kicks, the animations here. Um, it looks very, very good, well put together. I'm surprised how fast they get into this game out. I thought the game was gonna come out in the fall, but the game's coming out June 29th, which is very good because everybody will be out of school. It'll be the summertime. We have a new game to play, um, new game to try out as well. I'll be posting all videos on AW. I will be pre-ordered the game. Um, as soon as more videos come out, the more videos I drop. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna do the same way I did with WWE 23. Um, I'm gonna do the same way I did with that game, where I posted every screenshot, video. You know what I'm saying? All the leaks about it. I'm do the same thing, but hype it up so everybody can you know get hyped about AEW. This is the first time we have two wrestling games in one year, so that haven't happened before. And 2K Battlegrounds was terrible, so. That's a good thing that we have competition. It helps WHK up their game, especially for next year because AEW fans, there's a lot of AEW fans out there. From my previous AEW gameplay videos, y'all going crazy on those, so why not drop another one? So, um, yeah, back to this gameplay, though. I like Thunder Rose's character a lot. Now, I think Thunder Rose and Britt Breaker are the ones that I play the most. I'm excited to see like the updated rosters, if they have um, any new stars in there like Sarah Page. I want to see Paige in the game. I've used Paige in a minute since like 2K17. I want to see if they have um, who else is in there. Uh, Jay Carcel. I believe they do have Jay Carcel. But they said it's up to 50 plus uh, wrestlers at the start. But they said they got roll out updated superstars throughout the year. So that's going to be very, very good. It's just like how WWE is doing now where they're doing extra DLC characters with every update so you know how we got me and M, cancer ray in the patch and doing more of that so i feel like aw is going that route then have one game and just keep updating over and over and over again kind of like fortnite you know what i'm saying it's kind of like fortnite where they keep updating the store um with new items and stuff like that i feel like they're gonna do that with aw where they keep updating the rosters it's gonna be very very good um but yeah this gameplay right here i feel like a lot of people are gonna use thunder rosa i don't know who to, i'm not really familiar with other people now, I'm still learning AEW Superstar, so let me know in the comment section down below who's the best female AEW Superstar in their company, you know what I'm saying? Is it really Jay Carcel, or is it cause somebody else like Sarah Page, um, or is it, you know, Ruby uh, Ruby Soho, uh, or is it Tony Storm? It could be so on and so forth. There's a whole bunch of new women that I got to get used to now since AEW. You guys are loving the videos, so I'm going to keep dropping them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I keep smashing that like button. I keep dropping you guys some AEW Fight Forever gameplay. Uh, every time they do a stream, I'm going to uh, record some gameplay, post it on my channel. So I appreciate you guys liking the video a lot. It helps out the channel. It supports it. Also, subscribe to the channel. We're over 5,800 subs. Uh, we just hit 5,700, and we're 70-something way down. So you guys are killing it on, on the AEW content. So I, I cannot stop dropping the AEW content. So, uh, But, yeah, back to the gameplay here. I feel like the gameplay is very smooth. The physics run great as well. I like how the, the different taunts animations for each superstar. That's pretty cool. Uh, now, we don't know if we can go on the top of the ramp. Or fight in the crowd or something like that. We don't know. We haven't seen the 
they always showed a little bit of gameplay. They only had the only stream was up for an hour, so like I had to get some gameplays, uh, video out of that. I got like five, no, I got like four. So I posted three yesterday, and this is the last one I got. So it is what it is, man. They didn't short what I was stream. I got a lot of out of it though for you guys that haven't seen it. Uh, this the boo set right here for Sheeta. Uh, her boos is pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? That's the boo set. Pause it. Take a screenshot. Post it on Twitter. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. What is your favorite boo so far that you see out of all the gameplays? I like the replay center of AEW Fight Forever too. You guys can see it right here. Uh, I love the replay. It's fantastic. I, th I think they should add that in 2K. You know what I'm saying? They, ha they used to have that back in the day. But I think they should add that in 2K with the replay center. Uh, shows up after the finisher. They used to have that. Um, you can see that he missed the finisher right there. Finisher animation. The one thing I don't like about the game so far is like the pit. You gotta smash the buttons to kick out. Now they should have like a meter, like how WWE has a meter, because it'll help out the new players that don't know how to kick out really. Because it says X Y A B. You gotta smash all the buttons to kick out of the match, which is cool. But like I feel like it should just be, you know, one button to kick out, or you know, say a meter where you go back and forth to kick out. That's just me personally. But they can do what they want, which they are. They'll patch the game. There'll be a lot of pat patches with this game. And I'll keep up to date with you guys on AW5 Forever. Uh, as well as W2K23. Not forget about 2K23. It's just more content for the channel. More content for the viewers. Uh, the pick and choose what game you want to watch. If y'all want to watch W for a day, you can. If you watch AW, you can do that too. Because I'm going to have them both on my channel. You guys see right there. I was not the lag from the game. They're on Wi-Fi from a hotel. So, yeah. But um, you guys can see... That signature right there, and then um, she did with her animation taunts right there as well. Set up for the finisher, that was crazy. See, I like the AEW replay, they didn't add that to 2K. I don't know why they don't have that in WSK. He goes for the pin right here, he goes one, two, he goes three right here. So that's gonna be the pitfall right there. Um, you guys see the victory animation, you see the replay first after every match. But you guys see the victory animation. She is the new AW World Heavyweight Championship. You get to see uh, the first look at the title as well. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.